Why is that queen beating on a wall? Hello? Queen? Brother, go for the builder huts. What is she doing? We start the lava from the bottom side. Warden thinks he's a lava hound. Gets out in front. Oh, this could be bad news. And here we are with the first match in the grand finals of the Lexnos Invitational. Only two teams remain, Method to Madness and Space Station Gaming. One of these two teams is going to be taking home the $1,000 prize. Huge shout out to the sponsors of this event, Burton Base, RH Base Building, and Beast Graphics. Check out their links down below in the description. This is going to be a best of three match. And today we got match number one. Method to Madness are in with the first attack. Coming in with a little pee wee wee action. Early Warden Walk from the top side of the base on Gereticus's base here. We're going to give that Warden plenty of time to make a little funnel here. Are we going to give him enough time to get the multi? Can he even reach that? He might not even path that way. It's a little difficult to tell. Maybe he just wants the Warden to make a funnel and not even snipe the multi or the eagle. Down goes the Dark Collector. Down goes the Gold Storage. Which way is he going to send the troops? Left or right? It's hard to tell what his plan is so far. I think he does want him to snipe the multi. If he drops a Rage, he definitely does. Only 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. This is taking quite a bit of time with this Warden charge here at the beginning. Down goes the DE Storage. Warden should go for the multi next. 2 minutes and 3 seconds on the clock. The Rage is there. Probably should have dropped that Rage when he was on the Dark Storage as that takes longer to get through. Down goes the multi. King on the left side to funnel. Wall break is in. Queen and Peckers are in, but only a minute and 50 left on the clock. Time could be a big issue here. Giant and Siege Barracks from the left side. We're going to invest a Wall Breaker there as well. Jump Spell to get us all the way to the core. Mass Headhunter CC. There's a Rage. There's the Warden ability. This is kind of ballsy. He doesn't have a blimp or anything for the Town Hall on the back end. Okay. Another jump into the back side of the base, but King and Pecker say no way, Jose. They're going to beat through a wall and go left. They're not even taking the first jump. What? The Queen and the Super Wizards don't have any healers in the core. Down go the Super Wizards. Yikes. King and the healers on the left side. We sent the Royal Champion as well. Town Hall's not even awake yet. We just now hit 50%. Hello, Town Hall. It wakes up and says, good morning, Clashers. Trying to absolutely wreck them. We're going to have to freeze it twice just to get through that. Two Skeleton Traps and the Barbarian King there to distract. King, I mean, Queen's still alive on the top side. She's going to go down to the Warden Tower. A third freeze and a poison. Just to help us get through that darn Town Hall and the Enemy King. Holy crap, this Town Hall is the MVP of the base right now. And the Giga Bomb, oof. The Giga Poison, another oof. I think all the healers and the witches die through the Giga Poison. That Giga Poison is no joke. Holy crap, say goodnight, witches. Goodbye, healers. Two Peckers, the King, the Royal Champ on the outside. We do have the Royal Champ ability. He could still get this. This is going to be close. Hopefully no Skelly Trap to distract him. If there is, he could be screwed. No Skelly Trap means the RC gets through the Scatter. The RC gets through the Warden Tower. He's got it. Three loons in the bag. 15 seconds to go. Does he got the time? I think he does. Down goes the platform. What even shot the platform? I'm not sure. Not sure, but he's got 10 seconds to spare. A three star on the board. And Method Madness starting this match off with a banger. Crazy Ryan is in with the first attack for Space Station Gaming, bringing his all-time favorite, Queen Charge Lalo. And let's see if he can get it done here against PSW's base. Where is he going to start? Uh -huh. And we start with the Queen up at 1 o'clock. Looks like he wants her to walk up, I think. Wall break between the Archer Tower and the Cannon, I bet. Drops two loons for the Mortar. Okay, Rage on the Queen. Wall break the junction, just like I thought. Queen will kill the road champion. Does she go up for the air defense? No, she gets pulled inside for the scatter. Send the royal champion to get rid of that air defense. Otherwise, it might start shooting healers soon. That's probably a good call. Archer on the top side. Sneaky Goblin to go in for the storage. Queen's going to walk in for the builder huts, the CC, and the queen, but she won't be able to reach the multi. Can he keep his royal champion alive long enough to take out the multi? Next rage is in on the queen. Oh, this timing is all sorts of awkward. He didn't get the enemy queen in that poison. He needed to really badly. The poison was one tile off. The RC will get the multi. That's huge. 
Now the queen steps inside the poison. That's beautiful. One more freeze, one more rage. Queen will be able to take all that stuff out in the core. We already lost her ability. We send the king in from the bottom. He should be able to grab the multi. The wall breaker is being very LOL. And again! Oh, dude, those wall breakers suck. What is that AI? Come on. Tries to wall break queen all the way to the core, but those wall breakers are not having it. Headhunter to help king fight the enemy king. King takes out the multi. King's not going for the air defense. Queen's going to beat for a wall to go to the eagle. And we start the Lalo straight into the town hall chamber. But we're not at 50%. Oh, crap. The town hall's not waking up. And all the loons go away. Ryan! No! Not like this. Somebody wake up that town hall. Woo! Thank goodness. We're going to haste into it. Going to pop the warden ability. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Come on, get out of that giga bomb. Warden, don't you dare die to that giga poison. He's going to sit in it. Oh, thank goodness. Warden flies out of it. Queen ends up dying after she gets the eagle. She's not going to clear the air defense on the right side. We're going to haste into the scatter shot, but the Tesla might pull them away. Oh, we get one loon going to the scatter. Two to the air defense. That was honestly the perfect split. Holy crap. Loons are going to get to the archer tower. Down goes the scatter, but we're all out of loons. And crazy Ryan, not going to be able to get it done. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The warden dies, the dragon dies, the minions will follow suit. The minions on the bottom side should be able to grab another two or so buildings. And I think we're looking at an 83, maybe an 84. No, I think it's going to be an 83% attack here for Crazy Ryan. And Space Station with a fail here means Method to Madness are going to have an early lead in match number one. Three stars to two. PSW is in on Marinol's base. Coming in with a little dragon action here. Early lightning spells and earthquake for the Inferno Tower, Bomb Tower, and Archer Tower over here on the top right side of the base. The Archer Tower has one HP. He's going to sneak in some loons to finish it off and make a little bit of a funnel here. Sweeper doesn't like that though. Sweeper, can it save the Archer Tower? Nope. Down goes the Archer Tower. He sends the king in to go toward the multi. We don't have a wall breaker though, so he actually won't be able to get the multi. First dragon is in up at 11. Rest of the dragons come in from the one o'clock side, warden on air with the owl to support. Okay, where are we gonna use the queen? We use the queen with an ice goal and we force the king in at three o'clock. With the yak, can he beat through the wall? No, the yak's gonna die, which means king is not gonna get that multi. He's gonna pop the king ability here though. Queen with the Unicorn will be able to make a nice little funnel. We send the Battle Blend from 1 o'clock. Rage the Dragons. We find two Headhunters in the CC. Going to pop the Warden ability here. Should be able to get Blimp all the way to the Town Hall. Rage again for the Dragons moving into the core. We're going to send the Royal Champion to finish the job that the King was not able to finish. Nicely done with the Royal Champion. Tornado Trap on the left side. But the Blimp still makes it there. Down goes the Town Hall. Safe. Dragons are continuing to move down south. We're going to freeze the scatter, pop the queen ability. RC takes out the eagle. The only real threat left is this air defense, but he still has the road champ ability. This is wrecked. <clears throat> PSW going to be able to get the three star here against Marinol's base. And Method to Madness are just looking so strong in this tournament. Holy crap. They are now going to be two for two here against Space Station Gaming, putting all the pressure onto the next attacker for Space Station. Burnt Base is a Supercell approved Clash of Clans tool that you can use to find any base, Town Hall 10 through Town Hall 14 on the internet. It is super easy to use. All you have to do is take a picture of the base you want to know about, go to burntbase.com, upload your picture, and voila! instant results with video links. Burnt Base will give you links to YouTube videos that show exactly how to triple the base you're curious about. You can watch and see how to three star your base in war or you can even upload your own defensive base and see how other people have three starred that base or something similar to it and then bait that attack in your future wars. Adjust the traps to defend those attacks moving forward. Head over to BurntBase.com to give it a try. It's absolutely free to use with a cooldown between searches but if you you want unlimited searches you can pay an upgraded premium fee to get as many as you want check out the link in the description below and jd9 is in with his second attack for space station coming in with another queen charge lalo okay early blimp from the 730 side of the base 
Gonna be able to take out the scatter shot. No spells needed. Gets the CC pool early as well. Nice. Yeti Mites should be able to take out the Wizard Tower. Maybe. Yes. Barely gets it down. Queen charge starting from 7 o'clock. Queen's gonna have to deal with the Lava Hound right away. She takes care of the cannon first. We're still gonna have to invest the Rage Spell. Rip. He doesn't need to wall break here because I think Queen should naturally walk in. Maybe. We'll see. Drops the poison for the Lava Pups. <clears throat> king on the outside with the Yak to funnel her in. Queen's got to deal with the enemy King first. King finds a couple Teslas and a Skelly Trap. King should be able to take care of that. Need him to take care of the cannon quickly before the army camp is dead. Ooh, perfect timing. Queen goes inside. Nice. King might be able to go inside and take out the scatter shot, although he's already low on HP. We still have the road champion that we could use as well. We've taken a lot of time just to set up the queen charge. Queen's barely starting to go inside the base, and we're already down to a minute 45 left on the clock. Is looking a little sketchy. King goes inside the wrong compartment. He's not going to clear the scatter shot. Queen gets the expo. Going to step up for the wizard tower. We do have two more wall breakers to try and get her all the way to this town hall. We do have the royal champion that he might need to use on the scatter shot at four o'clock. The double wall break was a little sketchy. She will be able to get to the town hall, but not going to be able to reach the inferno tower behind that or the second sweeper. We do send the RC for the scatter shot. With her ability, she should be able to clear a lot of stuff on the top side. We're going to start the Lalo nice and early to keep the Road Champion alive. I say early, but it only has a minute and ten left on the clock. We're going to go with a freeze on the multi. Queen gets the Town Hall. She will be able to get the Expo as well. Road Champion is going to go down. We still have the Warden ability that we're holding on to. Freeze the top side multi again. Queen goes back around the left side. She'll be able to take out the enemy Royal Champion. That's beautiful. So he can actually get his Royal Champion and the Headhunters in the Warden ability. Rage the Loons as they move toward the top side of the base. We get through that second multi. Queen pops her ability. She's still going strong. He still has three more spells. There goes the last Rage. There goes a Freeze on the top side. Royal Champ pops her ability. Down goes the enemy Queen. 30 seconds to go. Minions on the top side. It's looking strong for Jade. 89 tons of minions for cleanup at nine o'clock and this man's is gonna swag a haste and a free spell absolutely wrecked ben's base and both spells swag right there in the middle ggs to jd9 what a beautiful queen charge lalo method of madness are in with their next attack coming in with a little dragon action he's got six invisibilities that's a lot of invisibilities finds a tornado on the outside oh, jd9 you dirty dog was this baited? Oh, Blimp hits the tornado, but the tornado's expired. Seeking air mines, kill the hound. There's the invisibility. There's one giant bomb. Did it hit the wizards? I'm not even sure if it did. Next invisibility is in. Small bombs are there. Skelly trap is there. They go for the town hall. It looks like JD9 tried to bait that attack, but the bait didn't actually work. Next invisibility is down. One more small bomb. The super wizards are still alive. Ooh, there's the giant bomb. The multi stays up. That could be important. That could be important. The three ice golems are still alive. The builder is repairing the multi back up to full health. He funnels the collector over there. Archer at 12 o'clock to pull the ice golems away. One Valkyrie to get the mortar. Should be able to get a bunch of trash buildings on the right side as well. Triple ice golem CC is going to take him quite a bit of time to get through. He's going to drop the queen right at 12 o'clock. She'll take care of all of those. Where are we going to send the dragons? Probably from the 1 o'clock angle, if I had to guess. <clears throat> there go two dragons right there. Going to send the rest of them soon. King and the queen to walk from 12 to 9. Here come the balloons. Here come the dragons. Warden on air support. Those other two dragons kind of got wasted. They die super early. There's the first rage. Early as heck, warden ability. King and queen are going to continue walking down the left side of the base. Down goes the enemy queen. Eagle volleys are not going to do any damage thanks to that warden ability. We're going to freeze the sweeper with the eagle. We still have the royal champion to use. Down goes that multi. That multi wasn't a big deal after all. We're going to freeze the, the scatter shot. Last rage has been used. There's no more spells to deploy. Dragons get stuck on the king. We send the royal champion on the back end with the lassie to grab the air defense. She'll be able to grab the wizard tower as well. Lots of dragons on the left side of the base. King pops his ability. Scattershot's going to go down. The queen is tanking it, but she's got the unicorn. Down goes the scatter. Queen's going to continue walking around the base. RC can pop her ability. I think it's looking good for LG. It's hard to tell. Down goes the air defense. Down goes the multi. Oh, he's got this. 
plenty of time as well, right? 40 seconds. RC gets the Tesla. RC gets the cannon. One dragon staying alive, clearing the storage that the queen and king cannot reach is actually OP. RC grabs the wizard tower. RC grabs the Tesla. This RC just does not want to die. She gets the mortar. She gets the wizard tower. And it's a clan clash triple for LG. And ladies and gentlemen, method to madness are three for three. Wow. Nick is in with the third attack of the match for Space Station Gaming. Coming in with a little Lalo action with seven lightnings and one earthquake. What is he going to be doing? Zaps and Quake over here on the bottom side of the base. Gets the scatter shot. Gets a multi together. Nice value right there. Funnels, uh, I believe that was a mortar. Yeah. RC from six o'clock. Here we go. She's going to be able to go take out some value. Pops the ability nice and early. Her ability one shots the blue cannons because they're not max level. Nicely done. He made quite a bit of a funnel here. The RC is going to pull the CC troops early though. That might not have been part of the plan. One headhunter. A Lava Hound and lots of archers. The Headhunter's going to gun it for the king. He sends the queen in behind. I don't think this was part of the plan. He was not expecting this heroes to have to fight the CC. Or was he? I don't know. King's going to walk along the outside. Queen has to fight the CC now in range of the X-Bow, which is bad news bears because without healers, she can't actually win that fight. She pops the ability. The ground bow switches targets to the unicorn. Oh, man. He needs the queen to take out that eagle really badly probably gonna have to freeze the expo freeze the expo maybe gots to oh she's not gonna get it that queen got like zero value rip nick's queen eagle stays up how does he do this lalo now is he gonna send the stone slammer there is he gonna go all out finish on the town hall bro no way he might oh he is Nick's going with the risky plays, guys. He's going to finish on the town hall. Holy crap. <clears throat> Let's see if it pays out for him. Starts the Lalo from 9 o'clock. Stone Slammer is going to go in to the Eagle Artillery. Eagle kills a lot of loons early. Stone Slammer's pathing to the core. It will be able to take out that multi for him, which is nice. But he's going to have to be so patient with this Warden ability. Time it perfectly over the town hall. Multi in the core goes down. Builder hut as well. Got to get through that fur that last multi on the top side. The lava hounds or the ice hounds are stuck there. Finally, they're going to fly over to the right side of the base. He freezes the scatter right as the ice hound pops. Second ice hound is going to freeze the town hall for him. He's holding on to that warden ability. Need to haste or freeze or something soon. Freezes the town hall. There's not a lot of loons left. Sneak in the headhunters. Haste through the town hall. Pop the warden ability. But the tornado? Oh no, Nick. Pops the warden ability. Down goes the town hall. Please tell me the Giga Poison does not absolutely wreck all these loons. The loons are going down to the Giga Poison. The queen stays alive. It's going to be another defense for Method to Madness. Their bases are holding strong today. The warden dies to the Giga Poison. The queen stays alive on defense. And as time ticks down, it's going to be what looks like a 90%. Nope, he's not even going to get the storage. Not enough time. 89% attack for Nick here on Beige's base. And now the only way Space Station have a realistic chance in the first match here is if they can get two defenses. Love is in with the fourth attack for Method to Madness. If they triple... Match number one is basically over. All they'll have to do is two-star their last attack. And let's see what Love can do here with the zaps in the core. It's going to be a Lalo attack. Doesn't get either sweeper. Instead, he decides to go for the builder huts instead of the sweepers with those zaps. Okay. Let's see if it pays off for him. Wall break, king, queen, and ice golem in over here for the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. They're also going to have to fight the enemy king. They might also fight the enemy queen. Queen should get stuck on the enemy king here. Does she go inside or does she stay out for the Tesla and the... Oh, why does he send a hound and loons? What? <clears throat> Did he already start the Lalo? He does. Okay. That's a quick suey. Uh, queen might be able to go back up. Why is that queen beating on a wall? Hello? Queen? Brother, go for the builder huts. What is she doing? We start the Lalo from the bottom side. Warden thinks he's a Lava Hound. Gets out in front. 
Oh, this could be bad news, except he has a blimp for the town hall. Pops the warden ability. RC takes out the eagle. Queen beat through the wall just so she can go back in for the builder huts that she could have reached anyway. Down goes the town hall. Warden and loons are going to start making their way over toward the single. Last hound is flying across the right side of the base. He's got one more haste to use. He's got the queen ability to use. He started the Lalo so early that the RC and the queen are still pushing through the base. That was actually really clever. It's wrecked. He still has the queen ability. Holy crap. Minions on the bottom side. A minute and 20 to go. Method to madness are just unstoppable right now. Wow. They are going to be four for four against Space Station Gaming. Holy banana balls. Queen ability not even needed. A minute and four left on the clock to get the last two buildings. And wowzers. This base was crushed. GG to love. Beautiful Zap Lalo attack right there. At first, I thought he dropped the first hound by accident, but I think he just wanted to start the Lalo super duper early. I don't know. Either way, it worked out really well for him. Absolutely crushed the base. Minions take a red bomb to the face, but it doesn't matter. Plenty of time to get it done. And a beautiful three star right there from Method to Madness. Marnall's in with the next attack for Space Station. Can they get a triple? Let's see. He's coming in with a Zap Lalo of his own. Quakes in the core. Lightning spells as well. Going to be able to get the Sweeper, the Multi, and the Builder Hut. Decent value right there. Guts the entire core. Yeti on the top side to funnel. Archer Queen in at 1030. King to funnel the outside here. With that Sneaky Goblin. And a second Wall Breaker for the King. Okay. Queen's going to go in for the Eagle and the Royal Champion. King's going to go down south for the Scatter Shot and the Enemy King. Do we invest a Headhunter? We send the Royal Champion. No Headhunter, though. Pop the King ability. Queen over here should be able to take out the Enemy Royal Champion. Nice. King pops his ability. Still tanking for the Scatter Shot. Hello, Teslas. Hello, Skelly Trap. Queen on the top side. We don't pop her ability. We're going to save it just a little bit. She'll be able to get the Sweeper and the Expo. Nice. RC can pop her ability. Grab the Tesla, the Builder Hut, and the Wizard Tower, and the Archer Tower before she dies. One more shot. Yes, she gets the Archer Tower. Now, how do we do this, Lalo? Looks like it's going to be a triple Ice Golem CC. He pulled one. Didn't get the full pull. Or did he? Nope, didn't get the full pull. Probably a triple Ice Golem CC, though. Starts the Lalo from 10 o'clock with the first Hound and the Balloons. First Hound finds a bunch of traps. A, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of traps. Nice English, Lex. Stay in, stay in school, kids, please. Finds the Tornado Trap. First Lava Hound. All the pups got absolutely sent to the Shadow Realm. Did anybody else see that? Holy crap. The pups didn't even spawn. Freezes the Town Hall and the Builder Huts. Got to be very patient with this Warden ability. You don't want to pop it until right when the Town Hall is exploding, unless you have to. Going to haste through the Town Hall. Pop the Warden ability. There we go. Loons are going to start making their way into the multi. A couple of loons on the outside. We still got the Stone Slammer to use on the back end. No more loons to deploy. He does have quite a few spells. Going to drop the Poison on the Queen. We still got two haste and a Lightning. He's going to drop the Lightning for the Queen. We need the Stone Slammer to pop and a Dragon to kill this enemy Queen. Please. No more splash damage in the base. He sends in late Headhunters. Down goes the Queen. The Ice Golems get pulled though. Cleanup time is really the only issue. With the Ice Golems distracting, could time be an issue? He's got a haste spell that he might be able to swag unless he needs it for cleanup. Minions on the left side will get the storage, and they got plenty of time to get the CC. I think he's good to go. I think he's good to go. He uses the haste for cleanup, but I don't think he needed it. Dragon on the storage, balloons all over the place, and a three star on the board for Marinol. Beautiful. Zap Lalo right there for him. Beige is in with the final attack of the match for Method to Madness. Can they get a perfect war here today? Let's find out. They're going in with an Inferno Baby Dragon spam attack here to end it. And let's see if they can do it. Two lightning spells for the Air Sweeper. E-Dragon up at 12 o'clock. King and Queen from 9. They're going to walk down towards 6. Everybody else in from the 1030 side. We pop the Warden ability super duper early. Inferno babies and balloons making their way closer and closer to the core. Saving that blimp for the Town Hall. We're going to deploy it a little bit later. Still the Royal Champion as well. 
It's going to start dropping the skellies and the freezes here in the core to distract the heroes and the scatter shots. Keep all the infernal babies alive. King and Queen are doing a great job on the bottom side of the base. Mass Headhunter CC. Is the Warden safe? He doesn't drop the poison. Warden gets absolutely clan clashed. Goodbye, Warden. Blimp to go all the way downtown. It finds one sticking air mine. It finds two. It finds three. Tornado trap. Ooh! Was this baited from Nick? Bro, if this one stars. Hold up. He freezes the town hall. He's got no more freezes. Inferno babies are making their way to the town hall. Does this one get the town hall? Ooh, the town hall stays up. Some more Inferno babies are making their way over there. Town hall drops. Woo. That was scary, bro. That was scary. Although he still had the queen beaten through a wall with the ability. Where is the road champion? Road champion is on the south side of the base. Going to get hit by the enemy king now. He's a pop the queen ability to save the royal champion, and he does. Nice call right there. Good spotters. Down goes the air defense. Can he still triple? Down goes the multi. One inferno baby dies to a seeking air mine. Only two inferno babies left alive. Time's not really an issue. It's just a wizard tower and a Tesla that could stop them. Maybe seeking air mines. One of them's low on HP, the other one's not. Hello, Seeking Air Mine, and it hits the full health one. And another Seeking Air Mine OP traps from Nick. It's gonna be a fail, a defense, but Method to Madness still with the 14 star performance. They got 14 stars in the quarterfinals. They got 14 stars in the semifinals. And they get 14 stars in match number one of the grand finals. Is there anybody who can stop this team? We will see. Let's see what Gereticus can do with his last attack, though. Gereticus is in with the last attack of the match, bringing us some super witch action here with six lightnings and two earthquakes. We start off with the warden on the south side of the base, and then drop the earthquakes and the lightnings for the scatter shot and the cannon over here. And there goes the last lightning. Down goes the scatter shot. The funnel has been established. Sneaky goblins to help with the funnel as well. Now we can start with the super witches. <clears throat> there go the super witches. Going in toward the town hall chamber here. Queen with the super witches. King to funnel the outside. Giant and siege barracks in as well. Here we go. A couple of Coco loons in to test for any seeking air mines. Super witches are going to grab the town hall. Jump to the core. We still have to fight CC troops. One super witch goes into the wrong compartment. Skelly trap is there. Mass headhunter CC. Got to pop a rage spell. Do we have to pop the warden ability? Mm. Not quite yet. He's holding on to it. Hopefully the super witches don't get inside the giga poison or else they're going to take a lot of damage. This kitty is falling asleep as I hold him. It's so adorable. Everybody going to start making their way inside the jump. Although the healers are staying with the super witches that are beating on a wall. That's bad news bears. King goes up, takes out the multi in the court. We got Valks in the CC, send the royal champion from the top side. Okay. Queen inside the warden ability, takes out the other inferno. We're gonna pop a free spell for the double ground expo and the warden tower. Royal champion on the top side is gonna take out the multi. There's a Tesla farm on the outside of the base over there on the northeast section. Some healers are in the core with the Super Witch. Another healer's on the bottom side with the Super Witch. Eager Artillery still awake. Royal Champion already popped her ability. We got one cleanup wizard on the top side. Queen has to pop her ability. Oh, I don't know if this is going to get through it. All of his troops are starting to die out. Queen is very low on HP. That unicorn's trying its best to keep the Queen alive, but the King and the Eagle are still up on the back end. We sneak in a Headhunter to help the Queen hopefully take him out. Queen's going to get a few shots off. Headhunter gets a few shots off. Down goes the king. Can this still work? 55 seconds. One super witch on the south side. The queen is getting back up to full health. Almost. One big boy and several healers on the top side of the base. Queen survives through the expo. She now has big boys tanking for her. And one super witch on the outside. 40 seconds to go. A big boy with three or four healers on the top side. It's a big boy charge on the top side of the base. Super Witch on the right, still alive. Queen just does not want to die. Holy crap, how is she still alive? Down goes the gold mine. Down goes the cannon. Down goes the archer tower. I think he's just barely going to get it. Wow. What a weird attack, but it ends up working out just perfectly. Calculated for Gereticus. It's going to be a three star, but too little, too late for Space Station. And here in match number one of the grand finals, GG's to Method to Madness. They are going to be getting the victory 14 
to 13 and we'll see what happens next in match number two.